What's going on guys? Welcome to your very first HTML5 and CSS3 Canvas tutorial. In this uh, mini series we will be discussing about uh, the canvas element in HTML5 and we will be using CSS3 and JavaScript to draw uh, graphics and to import images in our HTML5. Uh, this tutorial series, uh, this tutorial series would be around, uh, would consist of uh, ten tutorials, and uh, uh, we will be using HTML5, CSS3, and JavaScript. So, if you know uh, anything about these three. Uh, uh, languages then it is well and good but if you do not know anything about them then I would be explaining uh, uh, the tags and uh, the elements which I will be using in these tutorials so guys and girls uh, in the first two tutorials we will be using the internal cascading style sheets and internal JavaScript file to create our canvas element and to draw a rectangle and a square on our canvas. So canvas is an element in HTML5 which is used to draw graphics and uh, to import images and to uh, draw animations as well on the fly. And they uh, use uh, bitmap images. Uh, they do not use the uh, uh, vector graphic uh, images so if you zoom in uh, the graphics they will distort so let's begin in this tutorial series I am using uh, notepad plus plus for uh, the typing purposes if you would like to download notepad plus plus then please google it in notepad plus plus I open a new file and save it as canvas dot htm I type in the file name and then save in the save as type dialog box I select dot html and save it uh, most of us know that uh, uh, to begin html5 document we write doc type html and then uh, let me zoom it out so it is a little clearer and uh, below HT this uh, we begin our HTML tag and we close our HTML tag and we can write that we are using English as a language for typing and uh, under the HTML tag we have got two main uh, tags one is the head tag which is usually used for title and meta tag purposes and the other tag is the body tag which is the main content of our HTML page so I open a head tag and close it and then I introduce a body tag and close it so remember uh, in HTML uh, you should be closing your tags so I have introduced C tags and I have closed them in the head tag I introduce another tag that is the title tag which would be the title of our page and it is good for search engine optimization so our titles should be good so I introduced a title tag and I save my file. Now I would like to introduce the canvas tag and the canvas tag is used in the body tag and uh, you can use more than one canvas tag in the same HTML file. To begin the canvas tag you just type canvas and you close it with slash canvas and it is always a good idea to give uh, an ID to your elements because you uh, would be using 
those IDs to refer them in the JavaScript and in cascading style sheets. So I give uh, an ID of new canvas to my uh, canvas and I also need to give the width and height of my canvas. I need to give the dimensions of my canvas. I say that my canvas would be 400 pixels wide and 400 pixels in height. So now we have introduced the canvas tag and if we save our file in notepad++ and click on run command and then launch it in our browser then we would see that we have got a blank HTML page. Why is that? It is because by default the canvas tag inherits the properties of its parent element which is in this case is the HTML document. So the background of our HTML document is white so the background of our canvas element is white as well. Now we need to change those properties of our canvas element and we will be using internal style sheets to do that. There are three types uh, uh, of uh, uh, styling techniques. One is the inline styling technique. The other one is the internal style sheet which we will be using in our head section and the third one is the external style sheet which we will be using in our next tutorials. So to introduce uh, the internal style sheet I use the tag style and then type equals to I tell my browser that it would be a text based CSS styling technique and I close my style tag with slash style and uh, in my style sheet I would like this canvas to turn yellow so uh, because I have given an ID of this canvas I use hash symbol and then the canvas name which is new canvas and uh, this is basically the selector and then in uh, CSS we usually use two curly braces and uh, in those curly braces we use the property and give the value to that property. So we want the background color property of our canvas to turn into yellow. So I use the selector. Now which property do I need to change? It's the background color and to which color do would I like it to be? I like it to change to yellow color and I usually uh, it's uh, uh, the syntax that you and your uh, uh, CSS uh, statement with a semicolon so I save my file click on run launch in Chrome and now on my white background I have got a yellow canvas and you can always uh, or you can also assign the border properties, the padding properties, margin properties, whatever properties you would like to assign uh, to our canvas element. So I would uh, just uh, say that the border should be 2 pixels and it should be solid and black in color. I save my file, go to my browser, refresh it and now see that we have got a black border which is solid and 2 pixels wide on our canvas. 
In the next tutorial, we will be using the internal JavaScript file to draw a square and a rectangle on our canvas file. So thank you very much guys and girls for joining me for this iFectioner.com canvas video tutorial and I will see you in the next tutorial. Take care. Bye bye.